The left is absolutely melting down, man. And more specifically, the black propagandists on the left are absolutely losing their minds. And believe it or not, it all has to do with policy. I mean, they are trying to thread the needle, man. They're trying to have it both ways. They want you to believe that Kamala Harris doesn't need to talk about policy, while at the same time, Donald Trump doesn't have enough policy. I mean, just listen to one of the world's preeminent race baiters try to explain this. And now I just want to show you Donald Trump's current, his current campaign website. Okay, here we go. It's going to scroll right in front of me right now. Take a look. Take a look. And tell me, stop me when you see the platinum plan. I'm just going to keep scrolling. Do you see the platinum plan? Do you see that in his current website? This is his current website. Do you see the platinum plan? I don't see the platinum plan. Do you see the platinum plan? <laughs> What happened to the platinum plan? What I do see, however, is this. Donald Trump's current plan, which is in his current website, where he's showing his policies that he would implement in his second Trump term, cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, radical gender ideology, and other inappropriate racial or sexual or political content on our children. Sounds to me like he wants to ban black history and anything that looks or smells like the 1619 Project. Is that what you're asking black folk to be down with? Because I don't think that's the platinum plan. So the platinum plan, you'd think the way she's actually talking about it, you think that it was a Kamala Harris plan, you know, something targeted to the black community. It's not. The plan she's talking about, the platinum plan, is just yet another Trump policy. And the funny thing is, the same people who claim that he was pandering and racist when he introduced this policy originally, they're now trying to attack him because they don't see it listed on his website. But, I mean, here's the really funny thing. I mean, she just scrolled through pages and pages and pages of policy, Trump policy, in order to show her viewers what isn't there, right? But if she wanted to be objective, if she had any desire to even pretend to be objective about it, she'd go to Kamala Harris's website as well. And still you will find not even one bit of policy. They do not have a policy page. Over a month and one taped interview into her campaign and still no real policy. But Trump doesn't have enough policy to hear these people tell. I mean, the truth is these people don't actually care about policy. They just care about identity. That's basically it. They care about identity and some of them have really, they have no problem telling you that. $540 million raised, $82 million in one week. But will, so when, but will, so you acknowledge about, that there's, will you acknowledge that there's no policy page on her, her website? And so how do people oh, when know did what she's doing? We start caring about for? policy pages on websites when every single time, she's, Since forever. every time she steps to the podium, she talks about her policy in such a direct way that voters are responding. Those Can you are tell the me people what her border policy is? Say it one more time. Can you tell me what her border policy is? Oh, she she said on day one she would sign the bipartisan border <laughs> legislation <laughs> that, J, that J.D. Vance and Donald Trump ta has taken credit for uh, killing what's, or what's not getting across on, the. What's your policy on fracking? She's going to introduce that. Her anonymous she's staffers going to introduce okay, so we don't know. So her interview tonight, her interview tonight should give her the opportunity to share whatever policy agenda she wants, and as the process go along, she will continue to. When did we start caring about policy on websites, he says. I mean, and he's absolutely serious, man. <laughs> you got to love the host. He's like, uh, since forever. That's actually pretty funny, right? But this is who these people are. This is how they operate, man. Don't worry about Kamala's policies. You know, just pledge your blind allegiance to her because of her gender and her color. But Trump's policies, you know, we got to worry about those. But, but man, these propagandists and these race baiters, they aren't actually worried about Donald Trump's policies. The only thing they're worried about is this. This is their worst possible fear. My name is Jasmine Woodson. Hi, my name is Silla. I'm Karen Watson. I'm Yolanda Johnson from Georgia. This is BB Diamond from New York City. I'm Dana Galen, and I'm from Tampa, Florida. I live in Hagerstown, Maryland. Out here in Maricopa County. Kalamazoo County, Michigan. I am a proud African immigrant living in Florida. I'm from the great state of New Jersey. I'm Angelina from Philly, and this November, I am not voting for Kamala Harris. I am not voting for Kamala Harris. I am not voting for Kamala Harris. I am not with Kamala Harris. I, I am, am not, not with, with her. her. I'm not with her. 
I am not with Kamala Harris. I'm not with Kamala. I am not for Kamala. I am for Donald Trump. I am not with Kamala. I am not with her because she is not with me. I support President Trump and the economic policies our country experienced under his leadership as our 45th president. President Trump will support our law enforcement agencies and fund them appropriately. Donald Trump made me proud to be an American. I'm with Donald J. Trump. We need a leader who can make America great again. Trump puts Americans first and he always will. I don't think that there is anything that the left fears more than that. And they try to do literally anything and everything they can to silence and diminish these kind of people and, and these kinds of views, right? They'll call them uncle this or house that, you know, liberals, especially white liberals, they really, really do melt down and they show their ass when they see and hear things like this, right? But, but what do they really expect, right? Identity politics can only get you so far. You know, being a woman, being a certain color, that isn't something that can actually sustain you through any real span of time. You know, people remember minority communities doing much, much better under Donald Trump, and they remember it because it's true. And they've watched a lot of their communities become literally a landing spot for millions and millions of new immigrants, right? People that had the red carpet literally rolled out for them, everything provided, all while the people who have lived their entire lives in these communities get less and struggle more every single day. They get less, struggle more, rinse and repeat every single day. But the funny thing is, you know, instead of addressing any of these things, instead of any kind of outreach or any honest conversation, the propagandists just say, you know, that Trump's support in the black community specifically is fake. They say the numbers are fake, but anything showing Kamala leading, well, of course, those are real. Every single day and explain how she is going to do that for the American people. And, and she's doing it. Angela, to bring you in, those battleground polls also show Donald Trump pulling in 19 percent support from black voters. That is actually triple uh, what he got in 2020. What do you make of that? What is he doing right to win them over? I don't make anything of these polls that are talking to imaginary black folks. I would love to know, for one, who they're talking to, because I've not. Seen so you think that they don't anywhere. exist? I think that they are maybe, you know what they might, they might be the invisible man that Ralph Ellison talked about in his book. I don't know who these people are. Um, there was a Trump ad that was released, I believe today, that's targeting black women voters. And there are these people um, who, are, you know, allegedly exist all throughout the country and they're reading scripts. You can see their eye line <laughs> going over here. And I think some of them might be paid to say some of these things. I'm not sure. But here's what I do know, Pam. Um, you talked about uh, Joe, this not being the case, Georgia not being the case for Joe Biden. Joe Biden did actually win Georgia in 2020. And I also want to give some credit to Kamala Harris, who has been to Georgia seven times um, this year. Right. And so I think it's important for us to acknowledge the work that has been done. Um, their state directors talked about 35,000 new volunteers on the ground since Kamala Harris announced. They have well over 24 offices in that state. They're doing the work. And so what you do see with polls and what you do hear from folks who are registered voters is that the tide is changing, that they're excited about um, the, the change and the excitement that Kamala Harris brought to the top of the ticket. And I think we really got to give more credit to the work. I'm not giving any credit to these polls. Polls end up, end up being wrong all the time. And I, I've seen polls that say 15%, 19%, 18% of black folks. I don't believe it at all. I really don't. So I, I want to follow up with what you had said about, you know, who, who are these voters, as I said, the 19% of black. It's kind of funny, man. I mean, as she's rattling off all the polls that she doesn't believe, every single one of them was no less than 15%, right? But, but she doesn't believe them, right? Those people, they don't exist. And the ones that do exist, well, they're paid to say it. They're paid to lie to pollsters, just in case they call. This is called copium, man. This is major freaking league copium. And you, you almost, you gotta feel bad for this poor girl, man. She is so thoroughly intellectually co-opted by these people that she can't, she can't even imagine that anyone, that it's even possible that anyone that looks like her could possibly believe something different than she's been commanded to believe, right? And that's, it's kind of amazing when you think about it, man. But this is who these people are. This is what they are, you know. And the, but the good news is there's less and less of these people every single day because people are waking up. But that's all I got, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. If you haven't already, be a part of our growth. Make sure to 